Three, two, one. Ignition. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket blasted off from Florida on Wednesday, sending two commercial moon landers into space. It's an unusual double moonshot launch that highlights the global rush to explore the lunar surface. One lander is the resilience made by Japanese company iSpace. It's iSpace's second attempt at a moon landing after a first try in 2023 failed due to an altitude miscalculation. The other lander, named Blue Ghost, is the first by Texas-based Firefly Aerospace. Firefly is now the third company to launch a moon lander under NASA's public-private commercial lunar payload services program. Countries and private companies worldwide have been aiming for the moon in recent years. They have an eye on its potential to host astronaut bases, as well as possible resources that could be mined for in-space applications. It's turning Earth's natural satellite into a stage for national prestige and geopolitical competition with echoes of the Cold War era space race. According to an iSpace executive, Resilience is carrying $16 million worth of customer missions and six payloads in total, including an in-house micro-rover that will collect lunar samples. The lander is expected to touch down on the moon's surface around May to June after taking an energy-efficient route. Firefly's Blue Ghost aims to reach the moon 45 days after launch around March the 2nd. It's carrying 11 payloads from a range of customers, most of them funded by NASA. The U.S. Space Agency has a goal to send humans back to the moon for the first time since 1972 by 2027, though that will likely be pushed back. While China plans to put its own crews on the lunar surface by 2030, following a series of robotic missions. NASA's move to fund public-private missions like Firefly's Blue Ghost is aimed at studying the moon's surface and stimulating private lunar demand before the agency sends humans there through its Artemis program. But it faces potential changes with the incoming administration of Donald Trump. The president-elect has largely sided with SpaceX CEO Elon Musk's vision to focus heavily on Mars.